Hey dear friends, welcome back again to part 14 of Java JavaFX tutorial. This is my channel and please subscribe to my channel to get more videos as free. Okay. So this is my channel URL. So let's get started. In the previous video we worked with uh, property ok so in this section I want to show you how you can work with lambda expression so first, first of all I want to make uh, my clips preference make it make the font uh, greater ok java text editor and here is 14, I want to make it 18. Okay. Apply and close. Now this is better than the previous, okay. So in the previous video work until here, if you don't see it, I suggest you uh, go to my channel and see the previous video so let's copy this and as you can see there is much code lambda expression is a good feature in java 8 you can use that so let's let's remove that and instead use lambda expression lambda expression you just your variable name of the method you call for example change method had three parameters observable value and old value and new value then you can use lambda expression wow this is nice So as you can see there the lambda expression work nicely than the previous code. This is much more better, okay? So let's check what is actually the value of observable value, okay? Let's run it. As you can see, the observable value actually hold our current value. Okay, as you can see it in the first time, the current value is this is actual hold new value. This is the new value, new value, and new value. So let's make this better, uh, like an action we work with action event so let's let's copy cut this method okay and instead put this inside the person method okay now let's call by the person object. Now let's run again. Let's change the value. For example, 40, 50, and 70. 700. 
excuse me. Wow, that's so nice. As you can see, there is the old value 100, 400, uh, the old value in the second value change, second time of value change, the old value is 400, new value is 50, 500, and here 500, the old value and the new value is 700. So this works nice actually. Congrats. Now this is actually nice. So so can we change this to let's see can we make this generic or no okay now I have a generic type but if I put this F as you can see F is a generic type uh, we doesn't support we doesn't have this at least in a method okay so we can can we cast it here to object property so let's see does we have object property sorry 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 object property let's see object property do we have yes we have it okay we have it as you can see there is this works also nice wow what's the problem set on value change Oh yes, that is F. Of person, okay. No, 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 no. Of integer property so this let's remove it okay let's remove it actually we should remove this integer property okay this is okay don't make it so complex okay so thank you for your watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye.